collection, registration, and vital statistics for $259,925. Second. Uh, right. Second. I, Mike seconded oh, it. Sec Mike did. Okay. Yeah. So we have <coughs> Tim moved it. Mike seconded it. Would you like to um, just go through your budget and? Absolutely. Uh, could I just get that number again, please? Two five nine nine two five. Okay. That's it. Go ahead, Jane. Please. Thank you for taking the time to review my 2018 budget proposal. As in years past, my budget increases during the even-numbered years because of the number of elections held in those years. Uh, my 2018 proposed budget has an increase of 8%. This is mostly due to that election cycle. Um, I had additional funding in the budget which was presented to the selectmen for another full-time clerk in order to have an additional window open to the public. This funding was removed from the budget, <coughs> which is before you as the selectmen have taken the approach that uh, this funding should be approved through a warrant article. So I'm sure that's something you'll see later on. Um, Jane, I, I, um, Fred, could I ask you, are we going to be seeing that tonight? Right there. <laughs> okay. The, the only reason I'm inter interrupting for a minute is that um, you may want to stay here when we go over that. Okay. Okay. Because, it, you know, you can, uh, if you have something to say about it. So, okay, continue, If please. it's okay with you, I will say what what I need to say now, and if you have any other questions after the we fact, once you, once you see the Warren article, because I kind of had it in my presentation anyway. So. Oh, okay. Well, go ahead. Okay. Um, <coughs> pending approval by the selectmen and the Teamster union, Teamsters union, it was my plan uh, to promote the bookkeeper to senior bookkeeper and change the title of bookkeeper to full-time assistant clerk. Currently, there is no position in the Teamsters bargaining agreement for a full-time assistant clerk, only part-time. <coughs> This plan would not allow, would not add another person, position to the agreement, but change an existing position that is not needed to the one that is and add one more body to the union. This plan, should the Warren article pass, increases the regular wages line item from $80,480 to $110,292. Uh, but as the budget before you stands now, the total requested is the same as last year. I just wanted to give you an overview of what we do in the town clerk's office because a lot of people don't necessarily know everything that we do. We do motor vehicle mm -hmm. registrations, boat registrations, dog licensing, OHRV registrations, hunting and fishing licenses, vital records and marriage licenses, voter registration, election administration, beach and transfer station decals, oaths of office, notary services, and wetlands applications. Um, I won't bother going over the the, uh, the rest of the information as to why that extra position is, is needed. I'll do that later if we get to that point. Um, some of the increases that I have um, in the, the 2018 budget is um, under part-time wages. I have a 50% per hour increase for the file clerk. <coughs> we were extremely uh, fortunate to hire a file clerk at $11 per hour. We're even more fortunate to find an employee who has stayed in the position at the salary, performing duties that not many people would want to perform. Rosemary has exceeded my expectations of this position and has been able to keep our filing relatively up to date and neatly organized. Not only has she been filing, but during elections, she collates and prepares absentee ballots for the clerks and me to distribute to voters. The value of this position is priceless. Under town clerk wages, um, Originally, I had a 3% um, increase there. The, the uh, selectmen reduced that to 2%. Uh, the town clerk is, not an, is an elected official, not a union employee or a non-union employee. I had budgeted for a 3% increase in the town clerk's salary. However, the Board of Selectmen has opted to reduce that amount to 2%, which represents a difference of $620. I respectfully ask that you reinstate the 3% increase. I would caution comparing elected officials to union or non-union employees as those employees receive monetary benefits that the, town, that the town clerk and tax collector do not, and those employees do not have to run for their positions every three years. Some non-union employees are able to sell back leave time to cover employee costs of medical and dental benefits as well as additional payments to the New Hampshire retirement system. Elected officials cannot. It is my understanding um, as well 
that if the budget does not pass, the selectmen still have the authority to provide non-union employees with an increase. The town clerk and the tax collector in recent years have not been included in that increase as such and have had four years over the past ten years that the positions did not receive a wage adjustment. I strongly believe that every employee should receive an increase as their cost of doing business increases just as the town's does. So please do not mistake my caution of comparison as a lack of support for any other employees in town. The 3% that I have requested is <coughs> amounts to $1,860. This is nine-tenths of 1% 1 of the increase in motor vehicle revenue thus far alone in 2017. To go even further and to put it even more into perspective, this increase is a mere five-hundredths of 1% of the total revenue collected for the town in 2016 and only, and only four-hundredths of 1% of the total revenue projected for the town <coughs> in 2017. I think based on the responsibility held by the town clerk, the revenue and the, uh, the re revenue the position and its staff collects, and the fact that all of this has been done without an increase in personnel <coughs> over the 11 year period for which I have held the office of town clerk, this 3% increase is extremely reasonable and not to mention well deserved. <coughs> Additionally, this position is still underpaid when compared to other towns with similar year round population and this is still not taking into consideration that our town population increases to, if not the largest city in the state of New Hampshire, at least one of the largest cities in New Hampshire during the summer months. I am happy to show you the results of my research from 2016, which shows Hampton as the busiest in its population class, yet the lowest paid for the same. Under computer support, um, as minor as it is, that's up $29. That's just because the software that we um, use for motor vehicle registrations and dog licensing um, has gone up. Uh, under staff development, um, I have increased this line item simply because some conferences have not been budgeted in the past and it has been overspent for the past few years. The conferences in which I attend are crucial to keeping the office running efficiently and smoothly and to keep myself and my staff up to date on current laws and practices that directly affect the operations of the office, elections, motor vehicle registrations, and other facets of our duties. Under voter registration, um, although we have more elections in 2018 than we did in 2017, this increase is minimal at $532, and it is merely due to the additional staffing needed to register voters at the deliberative session, uh, or check-in voters at the deliberative session in February, and register voters at the New Hampshire primary in September and the general election in November. Under um, election administration, uh, again, this, this budget is cyclical. It fluctuates up and down like a roller coaster every other year, the uphill climb during even-numbered years and sailing downhill in the odd-numbered years. 2018 brings technically four elections, deliberative session in February, town meeting in March, New Hampshire primary in September, and general election in November. All of these elections require staffing and food service. Additionally, each election comes with coding for the AccuVote memory cards. Within the election expense line item, we have added one more AccuVote machine to our arsenal of election tools. This comes with an, addi an additional $225 for annual maintenance, but we, the moderator and I, believe considering that the machines are getting older and there is no replacement model allowable by New Hampshire election law that we needed to obtain one more machine to cover the cost when a machine is pulled out of service for one reason or another. But make no mistake, these machines are amazingly accurate. That is all I have, and if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, of my order. <coughs> we just had some presentation of what is to be a Warren article, which I believe Fred said we're going to be seeing, seeing tonight. Is that right, Fred? Warren articles are like when we're approved. We haven't seen it here. Okay, so we're not going to be seeing that tonight. They're right here. Oh, we are. Okay, we will be seeing it tonight. Yes, we will. So I would suggest that <clears throat> we finish with the uh, uh, 4140 budget mm -hmm. uh, and then go move directly to that Warren article so that we can be we'll continuous see. in conversation on the matter. Or we can lump them together, but she she just commingled them. And I don't <coughs> know how to untangle that. Well, you... We're going to have to approve this budget. I'm agreeing with that. And then, so yes, I would say that that makes perfect sense. Okay. 
So I'll just I'll just stay off that topic until we get to the Warren article itself. And I would hope that the chair would uh, endorse that for for all of us. Okay. Any <clears throat> any questions? Anybody here have any questions for Jane? Yeah, I have. Go I ahead. Have a general sir. question. Yes. On the voter registration, how many Democrats? How many Independents? And I don't have that on me right it. now. Okay. I was just I'm happy curious. to get that to yeah. you, though. Because I expect the Republicans and Democrats are close, <coughs> but the Independents. Are. It's very close. Yeah. <clears throat> are you finished, Sonny? Sonny, hmm? are you finished? Yeah. Okay. Um, Jenny, you wanted to. Well, Regina, why did the selectmen take out the twenty-nine thousand dollars out of the budget and move it to a Warren article? What was the reasoning? Well, because we have a lot of things we're going to be putting on the warrant this year. Yeah. So we decided that it would be best to have it be a choice of the voters just for this year. I think there was some confusion that the vote was saying that the selectmen shouldn't necessarily have the authority to establish new positions. That is not what I voted on that night, and I don't believe that is what the rest of the vo board voted on. We were just looking at it. Well, I'll tell you what I was thinking of, that we're going to be asking for $13, $14 million this year and we really need to get that Warren article passed. So anything else, and I believe me, I know how much help mm -hmm. the town clerk's office needs, but we just thought maybe putting it on a Warren article this year and leaving it in it for the public to, to decide would be the best thing to do. Okay, and what was the percentage of the raise that you gave to the non-contractual? 1.65%. Non how much? 1.65. 1.65. So that's why we did the two instead of the three. Did anyone at get a raise from the um, undesignated balance at the end of the year? Did anybody get any money from that? From the, um, Chrissy, can you help me out? The unassigned fund the, No, not the, are you, the unassigned the, fund, or are you talking about the? I'm talking about when you take your expenses and Matt, take them from your revenue, subtract right. the expenses, the money that's left. Did anybody get any raises out of that money? No, all the money came out of the line, the merit raise line item, right? Item, right? Oh, you have a merit line? We have a merit line in personnel <coughs> administration, which is one of the topics, for, or one of the sections for later tonight. Okay. And how much is that? That's your favorite line. Yeah. Town council. It may be. I just... Do you remember a merit? I do remember merit. I just didn't know the town had one. <laughs> um, the town council got 4% back to April. Let's see. It was 28, 891 and 17 and it's down to 25,292 dollars for the budget in front of you. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody else with any questions? Just oh, the 1% was 600 and how much? $620, I think it was. Hold on, I have it right here. <clears throat> and what is what is a, a, a town clerk get in a, in a town similar to, to this that we some of them are up as high as 80,000. The average is around 70, 72. So, <clears throat> so we're getting a bargain. Mm -hmm. And, I, I, and, I've, and what I've been seeing in the town is continually losing people for a small amount of money. So I, I, I think that's not a big request. Are you making a motion, Chuck? So no, I like to motion make a motion. Table. I'm sorry. Oh. Right. So that's my statement. Maybe I will make a motion after. After we approve this this bottom line, that's when we can. That's when we can make a, a motion <clears throat> to increase it. Okay, go ahead. I'm getting confused. What? Last week we talked about selectmen can approve raises. We cannot approve raises. <coughs> we question things. We ask questions about it, but it's not our job. To, and uh, unless it's a Warren article, which I would agree with, you, is the way to go. We can't do that as a budget committee. It's up to the select people. Gina, are we out this Correct? Sorry? Yes. That is what we established last week. I 100% agree with you. So we can't say, let's have $680. We can vote it in here. We, we are not allowed to do that. Okay. We're not in the legislative committee. Well, Mr. Chairman. Well, yes, no? No, no, wait, wait, wait. If you're looking at one of these sublines, this committee can increase or decrease one of these sublines. Okay, so um, I think last week 
that issue with the uh, Parks and Rec Department was different. That was more a personnel. Uh, that, that had to do with personnel. As Jane pointed out, she's an elected official. It's a little bit different. Um, so go ahead. And the other problem is I'm an elected official as well. So I don't feel comfortable. I mean, like I said, the 2% was because everyone else got the 1.65. And we know how much you do, and we all appreciate it. But at the same time, the town also needs to figure out <coughs> how they're going to start reviewing everyone's wages because we're not in line and throughout the whole town. I mean, people think that we're in line, people think that we're over the line, but in reality, we're not. So, like I said, the selectmen, number one <coughs> priority this year, and it's got to be the number one priority. we got to throw money into that wastewater treatment plant. And everything that's being done this year does not mean that's how it's going to be done I don't believe that means how it's going to be done next year, but this year is sort of special, and that's why we did what we did. And I think the budget committee talk about it, do whatever you wish. But well, we talked about this uh, last Thursday. We had it wasn't it wasn't just the Parks and Rec Department. There was also discussion um, with the building inspector that, that Tim had about he asked him if there was an increase in that budget. And um, and uh, and Kevin answered no. But then in reality, a little bit later on, we found out that he got a five percent raise back in April. But uh, <laughs> but the thing is that the thing is that <clears throat> in both cases, I didn't think it was when it comes to personnel matters and and raises and stuff like that. Uh, we established that it's not up to this board to be given handed out raises. Uh, that's what we established last week. So, Tim? I do not believe that we established such a thing. Uh, <clears throat> I do know, as a factual matter, <coughs> that uh, Selectman Chairman Waddell actually asked the Tom Energy to do a recap of the budget process, and uh, Mr. Welch correctly stated that the budget committee owns the proposed budget, the selectmen own the default budget. So what we choose to put in the proposed budget is the budget committee's decision. There is no law that says otherwise. There is much law that says exactly that thing. So if we decide to give someone a raise, or we decide to let me rephrase that. Increase a line. If we decide to increase or decrease a line that is our I think authority that, that's okay. that is our duty. Okay. And no conversation can change that reality. Okay. So hold on, Tim. So what you're saying is that we can increase a line. We're not giving out a raise. That's what you just said. We don't make disbursements. We make appropriations. I can look or rather that. we make proposed appropriations. Okay, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Okay. Chuck, did you have something that you wanted to add to that? I think, uh, I think Tim just what said Tim it. was saying, uh, we, when we do a budget, and the budget is voted on in the village district, so when it's a different different process, I, 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 but I think it's the same rules, that that budget can be changed by the vote, by the, by the, the, um, the town meeting. <clears throat> so I don't see why it can't, we can't put it in there now if, if, if everybody feels they want to change it, okay. up or down. Okay. Uh, you had something, Sonny, you wanted to say? Yeah, I, well, Regina was saying 2% raise. I, you gave Mark Gerald 4% back, at, going back to April. So, <laughs> you know, that was rewarding. Uh, yeah, yeah. All, all, good over, all over the place here. Okay. Well, just to be clear, what Go we're ahead. discussing is whether or not the Budget Committee has the authority to raise or decrease an appropriation in the proposed budget that's brought to us. Okay. I would say yes. Okay, so that's the end of the, that whole topic. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go back to uh, $259,925. Anybody have any more questions about this particular budget? I do. Uh, say seeing none. Well, please. <coughs> 
Um, the bookkeeper to assistant town clerk, that's the Warren article, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, last year, wasn't we gave, or rather you were, you were uh, <coughs> given an additional part-time employee? That was the file clerk that I mentioned that I put in for a 50 cent right. so, raise. So it's not true to say you haven't had any new employees in several years. I didn't say that. Okay. I know I didn't say you did. Okay. I said it's not yeah. true to say that. Yes, that's correct. Okay. The supervisor of the checklist is in your budget. Yes. And they are also elected officials. Right. And I believe it was last year, the year before, we put in, or rather you proposed, and we agreed to an increase for their, their pay. Correct. Right. We're not doing that this year, correct? Correct. Um, I note that uh, the moderator is also in your budget. Correct. And uh, I was looking back in history, and I find that he hasn't had an increment in his pay in over 20 years. That's correct. And I, and I actually called him and suggested that we put a raise in there for him as well, and he declined. He asked me not to. Mm-hmm. Okay. And did he say why he would uh, prefer not to? Okay. Um, <coughs> and last year, I believe there was a raise in uh, your budget for yourself, correct? Correct. And, and that, that was granted and and disperse, correct? Correct. Okay, so you have got a raise last year. Yes. Prior two years to that was an attempt to get a raise via Warren article, mm -hmm. which, as you recall, I was strongly in favor of. It was one of the few that spoke in favor of it in the Toledo session strongly. Uh, but now, suddenly, we're changing over for the last year, and now this year, no longer asking the voters in a separate Warren article for uh, a wage increase for you. We're going into the budget to do it. Mm -hmm. Which, that was the Which, only year that I had done that. Last all, year. all years prior had always been in the right. budget. This is the second year we're doing it. Putting in a raise in the budget. No, no, no. What I'm saying is when we did the Warren article two years ago or whenever that Reason was, the road. that was, no, that was the one and only time that we've done that since I've been town clerk. Really? I thought we did that two years in a row. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, maybe it was the year before because I had proposed raising mm -hmm. a raise to raising a pay to 60000 as I recall. Was like that was budget. Four. That was in the budget, though. Yeah, that was yeah. in the budget. Yeah. yeah. So I'm concerned. We seem to be all over the place with elected officials, and the open question still remains: as a as a body politic, not just a budget committee, but this is body politic, whether elected officials get raises via a separate warrant article or stuffed into the budget. I don't. I don't have a clear answer to that, but you know, I think that uh, we, we can't keep fumbling around with this. In my opinion, when you more or less make a kind of a, um, a broad discussion on the topic. It's pretty much always been to the discretion of the town clerk how to do that. Well, I think it ought to be the discretion of the body politic as a whole or the voters uh, to say, well, we want a separate one or we don't. Put it in the budget if you think it's right or mm -hmm. maybe, you know, no more than current federal inflation rate goes into the budget. After that, it has to be a one or something, something. You know, sometimes we have no rules of the road on this, I guess is what I'm saying. So, uh, you're also a, uh, a clerk for SAU 90, right? Yes. And SAU 21? Yes. Yeah. And what's your salary over there? Uh, SAU 90 is $250. Per year? Mm hmm Okay. And SAU 21 is $1,700. Seems like you ought to be getting a raise from one of those other guys rather than us. They actually, SAU 90 is increasing it to 350 this year, I believe. 350? Mm -hmm. okay. From? From 250 to 350. Okay. <laughs> Last of the big time spenders. Absolutely. <laughs> now, all my, other, all my other questions are really related to the uh, assistant town clerk, which is a separate one article which we're going to discuss separately from this, right after we get done doing this, right? Right after we get done. <coughs> so <coughs> this is my motion. optimum time to shut up. All right, David. I have a question that goes back to my original question. <coughs> Why can't, in reference to it, you suggest we close this one, then we listen to the Warren article. Why can't we hear that what it's in the Warren article help us make well, we the have a motion. Is? We have a motion on the floor. That's going to be a different motion. Plus... There's mention of a, somebody adding something to this, so <coughs> we have to do this first. Yeah, you have to vote on it. 
We can revisit this after we vote yeah, on it. We, we can, can revisit it anytime you want. We can modify it if we so choose. Yeah. Okay. But we have, so that's that's fine. why she can't put a warrant on her to give herself a raise. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did what, Sonny, we're not, what, we already uh, talked really about that. Okay. So we're ready to vote on this. All those in favor? Raise your hand, please. So it, let me call them out for Barbara. Tim Jones, Mr. Pluff, Steve LeBranch. The budget as presented. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Regina Bonds, Chuck Rage, Sonny Kravitz, and Ginny Bridal. No. Oh, Ginny Bridal's a no. And David, you are no. So David and Ginny knows everybody else was yes. Can we get the warrant articles, Fred? I can. You can make a motion now. Make a motion. Go ahead. To amend the budget. Yeah, we add six, 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 eight, six twenty. Six twenty to the uh, six town clerk's wages. Six hundred and twenty dollars. Okay. Is there a second on that? Second. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Second. Seconded by Ginny. Any discussion? Seeing none. What would be the total salary if that were granted? Um, 63, 63, 63, 853. 8 right. So, in either case, you're going to be making something over 63, either way. Right. Do we have a total cost by any chance for the town on that? Okay. Sure. Any other, no, no other discussion? Question. Go ahead. If we add the six fifty, I think it's passed or twenty five, whatever the number, six something. Does that mean that the warrant article will then not be needed, or we're going no, to? No, it's nothing to do with the warrant. It's a different. Nothing to do with the warrant article. Different, different thing. That's going to be completely warrant article. No, the no, warrant article is completely different. Yeah. 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 Nothing to do with their pay. Yeah, this is that's completely different. We're yeah. talking about okay. Pay from any other questions? Ago. Seeing none. Those in favor, <laughs> raise your hand. So we have uh, David, Steve LeBranch, Chuck Rage, Sonny Kravitz, and Ginny Bridal. And yeah, those you can put me in there, too. And Tim yeah. Jones. Those opposed? <coughs> Mike Plouffe and... The, and Mike Plouffe is a, <coughs> a nay, and Regina's abstaining. Okay. And that was 620, correct? So I can yes. Make sure that I so increase that two hundred and fifty nine thousand nine hundred and twenty five by six hundred and twenty dollars, please. <coughs> 